Parashat Shmini, we are introduced to the list of the kosher animals, the mammals, the birds, the fish life, the different insects. And each of these particular species have got different signs to indicate that they're kosher. So, for example, when it comes to the fish, they have to have fins and scales. When it comes to the mammals, it has to be a mammal that chews the cud and has a completely split tooth. Now, we don't know, and we weren't told in the Torah, why it is that Hashem chose these features to indicate that an animal is kosher. But perhaps we can derive something from it. If we look particularly at the animals, the mammals that are kosher, what does the split hoof mean? Split hoof allows the animal to move, to move itself forward. It's a sign of locomotion. And some of the best climbers in the mammal world have got split hoofs and can literally go up cliffs. It indicates the power to move forward, to go ahead into the future. And then we have chewing the cud. Well, what is chewing the cud? The animal eats the grass, and the grass is digested into one of the stomachs, and then it is regurgitated up into the mouth where it is chewed again and again and again. So chewing the cud represents the past, taking the past and keeping it in mind and not rejecting the past. So perhaps what the Torah is telling us is as follows. It's not good enough for a kosher animal only to chew the cud because that means it's stuck in the past. Now the past is important. The past is very important for the Jewish people. We have to know where we're coming from. We have to know who our ancestors were. We have to know the fact that our nation began as a nation when they received the Torah at Sinai. The past is absolute, but we can't be stuck in the past. At the same time, we cannot have a kosher animal that just has split hooves, but doesn't chew the cud, because then all it's concerned about is the future, what's coming. It never looks behind it. It doesn't realize that it's only here by virtue of the fact that it came from its ancestors. We have to have a combination of both. We have to have a creature that combines within itself the ability to look back for inspiration, to know where it's coming from, and then the ability to move forward with those split hooves. This could be a very wonderful reason for why these two signs were selected to indicate that an animal is kosher. I wish you Shabbat Shalom.